Let's ultrasound. Today we're in the ultrasound physics review gallery and we're talking about attenuation and the three factors that go along with attenuation, absorption, reflection, and scattering. Attenuation is the decrease in the strength of a sound wave as it travels deeper into the tissues. The sound wave weakens. This also can occur as the sound wave travels through a dense structure. And this is measured in decibels, which is dB. Frequency and attenuation are directly related, meaning that when one increases, the other increases. And conversely, when one decreases, the other decreases. Depth and attenuation are also directly related. As depth increases, attenuation increases. Time gain compensation, the TGC control on an ultrasound machine, compensates for attenuation by boosting the ultrasound signals at deeper depths. And note that the attenuation rate is different within different types of tissues. So air attenuates greater than bone, lung attenuates greater than soft tissue, blood attenuates greater than fluid, and you can see this arrow on the bottom of this slide. Water has the least amount of attenuation, or if you move to the right hand side, lung has the most amount of attenuation of the sound wave. Also note that there's a large amount of attenuation at an air and soft tissue interface, where those two types of tissues intersect, and also at a bone soft tissue interface. And attenuation is caused by three things, absorption, reflection, and scattering. Absorption is the first thing that causes attenuation, and this is when sound is converted into heat as the sound wave travels through the tissue, and this is the primary cause of attenuation. Absorption is highest in air and lowest in water. Absorption and frequency are directly related. The higher the frequency, the higher the amount of particle motion, and the higher amount of attenuation and energy that's transferred to heat, which is absorption. The sound wave energy interacts with particles in the tissue, causing energy to be transferred into heat. And this is also related to ultrasound bio effects, tissue heating. Reflection is the second factor causing attenuation. A sound wave goes into the tissue, encounters a difference in tissue type, and a portion of the sound wave returns to the transducer as an echo, which is a reflected sound wave, and the other portion of the sound wave travels deeper down into the tissue. The amount of reflection that will return to the transducer is dependent upon the type of tissue that the sound wave encounters. Some types of tissue result in a strong reflection of the sound wave, and some types of tissue result in no reflection of the sound wave. And this is how we get our different types of echogenicity. Anechoic means no reflection, and these are black structures on the ultrasound. Hypoechoic means a weak reflection, and these are our darker gray structures on an ultrasound. Isoechoic means the tissue reflects the same amount as the fat in the body, and these are our medium gray structures on ultrasound. And hyperechoic means that the the tissue greatly reflects the sound wave, and these are our light gray to white structures on ultrasounds. Note that reflection can be either organized or disorganized. Scattering is the third factor that causes attenuation. If a sound wave hits a surface with irregularities, the sound wave is redirected in multiple directions. And there's two things that can cause a surface to be irregular. The size of the surface, meaning a small surface, or the texture of the surface, meaning a rough surface. The scattering can either be organized, which means it's redirected uniformly, or disorganized, which means it's a non uniform redirection of the sound wave. Organized scattering is also known as Rayleigh scattering, and this is when the sound wave hits a surface a lot smaller than the size of its wavelength. The sound is uniformly scattered in all directions. They call this omnidirectional. Disorganized scattering is also known as backscatter. It also can be called diffuse reflection, and this is when the sound wave hits a rough surface. The sound wave is scattered in a disorganized pattern reflecting in multiple directions. 